Hello. In this lesson, we're going to simplify serves using square factors. We begin with the square root of 12. Now the square root of 12 can be simplified using a square factor. In this case, four, because the square root of four multiplied by the square root of three will make the square root of 12. This is the relationship where root A times B is the same as root A multiplied by root B. So the square root of four is two multiplied by root three, we can write as two root three. So the square root of 12 can be, said, can be written as two root three. The square root of 40, the square root of four multiplied by the square root of 10 will make the square root of 40. I've chosen the square root of four because four is a square number and we can square root a square number in this case to make two. And that'd be two root 10. Moving on to question C, we have the square root of 32 plus two times the square root of eight. Well, four does go into 32, but so does 16. And because 16 is bigger, I'm going to choose the square root of 16 multiplied by the square root of two plus two multiplied by the square root of four times the square root of two to make root eight. The square root of 16 is four. So four root two plus, and this root four can make two. So we have two times the two times root two is four root two. So in total, we have eight root two. Moving on to question D, we have the square root of 40, which we've worked out as two root 10, over the square root of 32, which again is root 16 multiplied by root two, which is four root two. So two root 10 over four root two. Now we can simplify this fraction. Firstly, by dividing both by two. And because root of A times B can be written as root A multiplied by root B, it stands to reason that A divided by B square rooted can be written as root A divided by root B. So in this case, we can do the root 10 divided by the root two to make root five. So we have root five divided by two. And finally, the square root of 16 can be written as root four times root 15, because four is a square factor. And we can do root two times root 45, which is root 90. So the square root of four is two, root 15. We can write root 90 as a multiple of root 15. That would be root six, root 15. The root 15s will cancel. So we're left with two over root six. Moving on to rationalizing the denominator, which is covered in a further lesson, we can rationalize the denominator of root six by multiplying both the numerator and denominator by root six. So we have two root six over root six times root six, which is this squared. And these will cancel. And finally, we can divide both by two. So we have root six over three. Thank you for watching. I hope you found that useful and check out mrmathematics.com for the full lesson and worksheet.